According to Benjamin Franklin, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. I am Ruel Arliaka, teacher two from Lano del Norte National Comprehensive High School. And I am Lucy Dirisaba, teacher two of Lano del Norte National Comprehensive High School. We are here to present our completed action research entitled Peer Tutoring to and, and Problem of the Week Program through Schoology Its Contributions, contributions to Learners' Academic Performance in, in Mathematics. mathematics. Even before the pandemic, the national achievement tests were not results for the gradual exit assessment in school years 2017, 2018, and 2018 to 2019 revealed that mathematics had the lowest mean percentage score or MPS of the seven learning areas. In school years 2017, 2018, and 2018 to 2019, the mean percentage score or MPS was only 29.60 and 27.91 respectively. The students were tested in all learning areas on 21st century skills such as problem solving, information literacy, and critical thinking. During the first quarter of the first semester of school year 2021 to 2022, the Humanities and Social Sciences, UMS2, learners had a mean grade of 83.0, which was interpreted as satisfactory according to Deped Order number 08-2015. The students were just contented with their standing as observed by the teacher. The need to be motivated to get a very satisfactory or outstanding rating. The researchers found an intervention that addresses the problem of the Hume's learners. These interventions were peer tutoring and problem the week program through Schoology. The research questions to be investigated in this study are what are the pre-test and post-test scores of the participants before and after the implementation of an intervention? Second, is there a significant difference between the pretest and post scores of the participants? One of the interventions to the existing problem of the learner's satisfactory ratings and less motivation to get a very satisfactory or outstanding performance in <coughs> mathematics is the use of peer tutoring to determine its contribution to learner's academic performance in mathematics and to be facilitated by the teacher researchers for three months. Learners were grouped into five groups. The four groups had 11 members and one group had 12 members. In every group, there were two mathematics club officers or other STEM learners who had high academic performance in mathematics and served as their tutors. The teacher researchers discussed the lessons through Google Meet every Monday of the week at 9 to 10 in the morning and 2 to 3 in the afternoon to deliver the learning competencies needed in the fourth quarter of the statistics and probability subject. After the discussion, a formative test was given through Schoology, which automatically generates results. The problems that were less mastered by the learners were the focus of peer tutoring. All groups conducted an online session every Monday at 10 to 11 in the morning. These were the tutors in each group. Group variants, Charlie Edward, Q and Dot, and Joria Jane C. Asilo. Group standard division, Cedric R. Kinyahan, and Francis Gabriel L. Ancos. Group median, Kyle Runyan Utan, and Lee Mark G. Tomorrow. Group correlation, Angel Christ Patarlas and Renuel Nino Bicoy. Group regression, Aisha M. Wally and Honey Joy Padilla. After the session, the evaluation link from the Google form was uploaded in the group chat, where the learners gave feedback for moni monitoring and improvement. Another intervention implemented was Problem of the Week program. The teacher researchers implemented 
the Math Problem of the Week program, which was posted in Schoology. Learners answered the problem on any sheet of paper and had their parents or guardians drop it in a box at the senior high school math club hall every module distribution, which was done every two weeks on Thursdays. On the same day, at exactly three in the afternoon, the teacher searchers pick all the correct answers and the learners who own those papers were given 10 points as a prize, which were recorded and added to their scores in the written works or performance task in the fourth quarter of the school year 2021-2022. The correct answers of the students in a particular week were posted in Schoology together with the solution. And the other learners evaluated their answers and learned from them. All learners answered again and dropped it in a box until the end of the program on June 24, 2022. The teacher researchers recorded the names of the winners from the first implementation until the end of the program. The quantitative research design was used to answer the formulated research questions. As with quantitative data, the descriptive method was used in comparing the scores of the learners between the pre-test and post-test. The pair t-test was used in determining if there was a significant difference in the scores between the pre-test and post-test. The participants of the study were the 56th grade 11 young student learners of Lano Dundardi National Comprehensive High School who had satisfactory rating in general mathematics during the first quarter of the first semester of the school year 2021-2022 and were found to be less motivated to get a very satisfactory or outstanding performance. The selection of the respondents among the grade 11 learners was done through purposive sampling. The purposive sampling was used because one of the researchers was handling six sections in grade 11, namely STEM, UMS 1, UMS 2, UMS 3, CAS 1, and ICT 1. The instrument used in this study was the researchers' test questionnaires based on the MELT in statistics and probability of the fourth quarter, which were used before and after the implementation of the peer tutoring and problem of the week program. The researchers used the Coder Richardson Formula 20 to compute the reliability of the test instrument, as well as the extent to which the test measures intend to measure. This reliability method measures the internal consistency of an item. The reliability was 0 0.7300, which was interpreted as high reliability. The item content validity index was 0 0.98 and interpreted as having high content validity. Item number 8 was revised and a typographical error in item number 13 was corrected as suggested by the validators. To facilitate the study, a letter of request was sent for approval by Dr. Edelberto L. Oplinaria, Division School Superintendent in the Division of Lano del Norte through the Division Research Committee, and a copy was furnished to school principal 3, Dr. Anissa A. Sinan, and Mrs. Alvera A. Callao, office in charge in the senior high school. Researchers conducted pilot testing with the 43 students in UMS 1 for the 40 items for which they had created questionnaires. Since we are in pandemic, pilot testing was done through Schoology. When the test was done, the researchers did an item analysis to determine what items were retained or accepted. The researchers got the items that were retained or accepted based on the item analysis. Teachers, researchers administered 
a pretest composed of 20 items to the participants through Schoology. The results were tabulated to determine the mean scores. During the data gathering, peer tutoring and math problem of the week program were utilized in every learning competency in the fourth quarter after the discussion of the 23 learning competencies to which learners were exposed in the interventions, the researchers gave a post-test to the participants using Schoology. The test questions in the post-test were identical to those the pre-test, but they were jumbled. Scores of the learners before and after the implementation of the fear tutoring and problem of the week program in probability and statistics in grade 11 used to, the pretest and post-test mean scores were only 6.07 and 14.25 respectively. And there was an increase of 57.40%. There were nine learners who got the perfect score during the post-test. Scores of the learners during the six-week implementation of the problem of the week program in quarter four, these scores were added to the written works and performance task. Resulted to 13 students receive an outstanding grade in quarter four. Based on the results, there was a significant difference between the assessment scores of the pretest and the post-test. Post scores have increased significantly following the implementation of peer tutoring and problem of the week program via Schoology. Therefore, peer tutoring and the problem of the week program through Schoology contributed to the learners' academic performance in mathematics. The computed test statistics was negative 15.042 and the T-critical value was negative 2.004 with 55 degree degrees of freedom and a 95% confidence level. Since the computed test statistics falls within the critical value, there was a significant increase in the scores during the post-test. Thus, the peer tutoring and problem of the week programs were very effective. Furthermore, peer tutoring is an effective intervention regardless of dosage and level or disability status. The findings of the study appeared to be convincing enough for the researchers to consider peer tutoring and problem of the week program through Schoology as an enhancement program to improve the academic performance of mathematics learners. Thank you for watching.